Hey friend, welcome to Self Transform, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out, guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. You're listening to episode 98 of Self Transformed. Hey friend. I have a super big favor to ask you, okay? If you are loving the show and all of the free content I put out there for you, the biggest way that you can thank me is by leaving a review in iTunes. It will literally take you less than 30 seconds. If you're listening on your iPhone uh, in iTunes, just scroll on down, leave five stars if you're loving the show, and write a couple sentences about what you love about listening to Self Transformed every week. It could be Whole30 tips, fitness tips, nutrition, just real life working mom stuff, just the way we're keeping it real. I would love it if you do that and you might just win something. So on Thursday the 17th, I'm doing my first monthly giveaway for a free habit hacking strategy call with me and you. It's 30 minutes or less depending on how much time we need where we're going to go into a big habit inventory of your day and go over some simple strategies to help stack some new habits into your life and help you get stuff done, be intentional with your time, and bonus, do it guilt-free. This is what I do with my clients in Self Transform You, and it's the biggest part, the keystone part of Self Transform You because look, I can give you a workout plan. I can give you my Food Freedom 3-Step Plan, But if you don't actually do it, take action, have some strategies to make it work in your life, that's when the cycle of starting and stopping, starting and stopping happens, okay? So leave a review. I might just draw your name from the reviews on Thursday the 17th and you get a free call with me. Now, if you don't leave a review, that's okay. You can always head to my um, link show, show notes. There's a link there to schedule your own habit hacking strategy call with me. I would love to chat up with you, girl. So let me read one of my most recent reviews for you from Sydney. She said, I've really been loving and enjoying Emily's podcast and the incredible guests and variety of topics she covers. The takeaways at the end of every episode might just be my favorite part. Thank you, Emily, for the inspiring conversations and insights. Oh, thank you, Sydney. I love sharing my three takeaways at the end as well. I've been doing that since the beginning of my podcast because, you know, sometimes you're listening to the show, either you're in the shower, you're driving your kids somewhere, and sometimes you kind of tune some things out or maybe you miss some things. So it's kind of like the cliff notes at the end of the show for you. So thanks so much, Sydney. I appreciate you leaving a review, girl. And make sure you go leave your review, friend, to see if I draw your name for a free habit hacking strategy call with me. And also, you can also join my free Facebook community while you're in the show notes. Check in that out. You can join my free Facebook community by going to bit.ly slash self transformed fam, just F A M. Yes, fam, because we're all family over there. And um, I'm going to be doing monthly mini workshops over there, like really quick, like 15 minute workshops every month. I want to be able to take our community to the next level. So I'm hosting my first one. Um, Thursday the 10th at 9 a.m. Eastern. It will be re- it will be a live video. So if you're not able to watch at that time, you can catch the replay. But I'm going to be talking about Keystone Habits, okay? It'll be a quick workshop, and I'm going to be sharing the daily five, um, or the fab five as my girls in Self Transform you call it. I love it that. But I'm going to share with you the things that they're doing every day to set these Keystone Habits into their life and watching what it does as a snowball as far as like establishing these new healthy habits 
in their life. I'll even share a fun image that they've been using over there in the five keystone little micro habits they've been putting in there. So head over to my free Facebook group, just bit.ly slash self transformed fam and join us over there so you can get in on that free workshop as well. So let's get into today's episode. I am so honored that my mentor and coach, Stephanie Gass, asked me to be on her show, The Stephanie Gass Show. So I can't even put into words. I could I could cry right now. I cried on our last session together and she prayed over me. I, I cannot even. So Stephanie is a clarity coach. She helps female entrepreneurs get clarity on their calling. And she comes from a place of faith, having a faith-based business. And that's what led me to her ultimately. And, you know, I've done an episode before on what you need to look for when hiring your own coach. And that was something really important to me. And it really took our coaching experience together to the next level. But I was so honored to have her ask me to be on her show to talk about habits because the habits are my jam. And so I give a little bit more insight on some specific habit strategies that I help my clients do. The daily five um, keystone habits, kind of like what I talked about on last week's quickie episode as well. But I dig deep. We go deep into this and what you can do. And hashtag P-Squats. You're going to know at the end what that means. Myself transform you girls know as well. So make sure to go check out Stephanie Gass. She's an amazing source of bright light and goodness and just um, leaving, leading with a servant's heart, which I hope people see me in that same light as well. So listen to this conversation with my friend, my coach, my mentor, Stephanie Gass. And I hope you feel inspired to start doing your P-Squats as well and making these micro habits part of your life so you can stop the cycle of starting and stopping. So hope to see you this Thursday the 10th at 9 a.m. Eastern in my Facebook group for my free Keystone Habit Workshop. In the meantime, enjoy this conversation with Steph. You guys heard how awesome Emily is in the intro, but I'm sitting across from her beautiful face right now as I sit here in all my makeup list glory with my wing ding everywhere because I forgot that I had a meeting right before this, but she's loving me anyway in all my hot mess mom express lifestyle, which is exactly what we're talking about today because I, as I was meeting with Emily in all of our private sessions, I recognized that she had this gift for habits and habit stacking and creating really, uh, there was a system around habits. And I was like, oh my goodness, Emily got to come on the show and talk about habits. So here she is. Welcome, Emily. Yay, Steph. Thank you so much for having me. It's truly an honor to get to share this with your audience. Yay. Well, I'm so excited you're here. Start us off by telling everybody who you are and what you do. Yeah. Well, again, thank you again for having me on this show, but my name is Emily Nichols. I'm the host of the self-transformed podcast and pretty much I am helping women redefine what self-care really looks like through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. Habits being the key word there, because I feel like a lot of women, there's, they've done so many different types of wellness programs. We know how to work out. We, most of the time we know how to eat well, but it's a matter of sticking with it and making it so simple in your life that it becomes an unconscious behavior. So I'm trying to help busy working mamas, like those listening to the show today, make these habits stick for life and stop the insanity, stop the cycle of starting and stopping and starting and stopping. So that's pretty much what I do. So um, you helped me launch my, I rebranded my podcast. I launched a new program called Self Transform You. And I'm just helping women transform from the inside out and really realize that it's okay to take care of yourself and be able to fill your cup up and then being able to pour into others as, you know, cliche as that sounds, but for real, your family will feel the side effects of it. And they'll be like, go, go do something for you, mom. Cause it's, we're going to all feel better too. And it's just amazing helping other women feel so much more energy and feel so much more lit up just by doing these simple habits every day. That's so good. I think that's the key right there that you said, simple, unconscious behavior that sticks for life. Those were the key things that you just said there to me. 
because when I look at myself and we were talking about habits right before we clicked record and I went, there's these things I'm doing that I don't even recognize that I'm doing every day that are directly linking to my productivity, that are directly linking to my success in my fitness, my wellness, my motherhood, etc. So how do you define, let's just for a minute, what is a habit? What do we think? What do you think a habit is and why do we need them? Yeah. Habits are what build consistency in your life and they compound over on top of each other to create massive transformation in your life. And it's little things, like you said, you didn't even realize that you did every day, but once you really start analyzing, oh, I do this every day and oh, I automatically do this. It's the compound effect. When you have all these simple little behaviors compounded on top of each other, you create pretty much your own routine that helps drive you forward. You know, my clients through Self Transform You right now, they're going through for their homework this week, they're writing down every single thing they do in a day. Like any tiny little behavior, like brushing their teeth, going to the bathroom, you know, making their coffee, letting the dogs out. And we're gonna be talking about how those habits are something they just do unconsciously every day and how we can add some more healthy habits onto that that feel very simple. Because I think that's where the overwhelm happens is you start something new or you want to start doing these things, but you're like, how in the world am I going to fit time for this? <laughs> because I am so busy. But when you really sit down to take a look at your time throughout the day, it's like, oh, I have a few time wasters here. Oh, I have something I do every day. What can I add on to that? So it's these simple little things that make such a big impact. Oh, so much to dig, dig into here. So the very first thing was that, that it's a compound effect that you create through consistency that then becomes a routine, mm-hmm. right? And then in that building that new routine, it's things that you're already doing every day. So let's dig into that a bit. So Emily, people are sitting on the other end of this episode going, okay, so what type of habits should I have? And then, so I guess the first question is how do you uncover what habits you need? And then we'll move into how do we implement and start this, these new habits? So how do you, let's say, let's take, we have a busy mompreneur. She's working from home. She's got the kiddos who are elementary ish or younger, trying to scale this business online, feels overwhelmed, pulled in all directions, making excuses for why she can't get off social media, why she can't fit in a workout. You guys, I'm not hating and shaming on you right now. I've been you. Okay. And I still am on some days. So that's our ICA. Let's let's just theoretically say what habits does, does she need to implement? How does she start with that question? Like what habits am I even missing? Sure. Sure. Well, I think it's taking some time to maybe sit down and feel realize how you're feeling every day. Check in with yourself. If you're like, I feel really low energy, or I feel like I'm not making time to eat meals and my blood sugar is low and I'm losing it on my kids because I'm not taking the time to eat every day. Or maybe it's, I'm overextending my schedule and scheduling too many clients in on one day and I'm giving too much to them, which is wonderful, but how are you replenishing yourself? So it's really just checking in with your feelings and figuring out, what triggers in your day are really setting you off. So like I said, you're not eating enough throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Your blood sugar is low and you're noticing, oh, I'm being very impatient with my kids right now. Have I eaten anything today? Have I moved today? You know, maybe you're not sleeping really well and you're thinking maybe if I added in a 30 minute workout, maybe I could sleep a little bit more soundly at night because you'll be a little bit more tired. Or even just checking in with your mindset. Have you spent some time in prayer today? Have you opened up a devotional? Have you connected with a friend? Have you just sent a a funny meme to friends? I I live for funny memes. (laughs) (laughs) You know, just checking in, just thinking, checking in with yourself and thinking when you're feeling a certain emotion, what can you do to reverse that? And usually a lot of times we're just not taking care of our basic needs. Mm. We're not taking care of our basic needs. To be able to elevate yourself and transform yourself and be able to give to others as an entrepreneur, you have to just take care of your basic needs. So Mm -hmm. think of what your basic needs are. You know, you kind of think of um, the hierarchy of needs pyramid. You're starting with just basic food, water, sleep, um, movement, community, friendship. And then you get to the top and that's where you're like, oh, personal development and pouring into others. But a lot of times our our pyramid is flip-flopped upside down. 
that's really great. So I think the highlight here for me is when you look at your inventory of your life, start with your feelings and your emotions, but going from a basic need perspective first, because I think often we go from a, as, as this busy mompreneur, great, I'm going to create more habits in the business. I'm going to create more habits with the to-do list. That's where like, and, and even for me, that's where my brain goes with, oh, I need new habits to be more productive. But let's challenge you guys listening today to start with the basic needs habits first. Mm -hmm. So for example, I'm going to give you guys some examples of myself and Emily, maybe you can give a few examples. I recognized that I wasn't taking my vitamins every day and I wasn't um, drinking enough water every day. Like some of those simple things that Mm -hmm. I wanted to do, but would fall away. So what I did is we have the vitamins in the fridge, they're the liquid vitamins sitting right next to the milk, which I froth for my coffee. Then right next to where I land for my coffee is the vitamin. And right next to the vitamin is the Brazilian nut that my person has me eat every day for whatever's in a Brazilian nut. I don't know. So I have in the morning, coffee's non-negotiable. Okay. So this is something that we already know is happening for Steph Gas. This is a simple thing that she's doing every day already. So looking at that simple action and going, how do you make the other habits connect and this, I'm going to explain what this is called in a minute. This, this connection between what's something I'm already doing with the items that I want to implement. So now wake up, make the coffee, grab the cream. Oh, there's the vitamin, take the vitamin shot, put the frother in. Oh, there's my Brazilian nut. Take the nut, take the vitamin. Good to go. So I've created this system. What is that called? Emily? Yeah, that's, so that's called habit stacking. And I live for that. I could geek out and talk about habit strategies all day long. And that's what we're doing in Self Transform You. That's why we're going through a ha- a, um, an inventory of everyone's time right now to talk about their habits. And a lot of it usually starts with coffee because most of us are without doubt making coffee every morning. It's an unconscious behavior. And I do the same thing too, Steph. I set out my vitamins and I let my dogs out. And during that time, as when I let them out, I go and I take, I drink a big glass of water, Mm. take my vitamins while my coffee is going. Did I do that right away? No, that eventually had to become an unconscious behavior. And we talked about my super secret. I'm going to share it with everyone here because we're all friends. I'm going to share my (laughs) super secret way to fit in a little bit more fitness throughout your day. So, you know, we're drinking a lot of water throughout the day. That's a habit I I teach as one of what, what I call my, my daily five, my fab five habits to do every day with my clients. So we're drinking a lot of water. So we're going to go pee a lot. We're going to go to the bathroom a lot. So I've been experimenting with my own habit stacking. So I'm drinking a lot of water throughout the day. I got to go potty a lot. So every time I go potty, I do my pee squats afterwards. So I do 10 squats after I go to the bathroom every day. And I've been doing that for about three months now. And think how many times you go to the bathroom throughout the day. And it's just compounding those again. Like, hey, I could have like up to a hundred squats a day and it took me no time. Hashtag P squats, you guys. Hashtag We're gonna P-squats. hashtag P squats. Emily told me this in one of our sessions, and I like right after I peed when I'm like, guess what I just did? I did my P squat, <laughs> and I loved it so much. And it was like this really simple, easy thing because imagine wow. if you pee like if you're anything like me, I don't know about y'all. I think I have a problem. I pee like six times a day, oh, maybe no. more, probably ten. And if you're doing ten a day, well, now you've got a hundred squats in. And that's going to take you what, 30 seconds to pop those in. So now we've not only added in vitamins and water in the morning when we link to coffee. And if you're not a coffee person, do you make tea in the morning? Like, what are you already doing in the morning? The vitamin mm-hmm. here. tea, you know, every, I mean, any little thing. Yeah. So now what can you stack that you're missing that has to do with your basic needs here? So vitamins is bringing you energy. Water is obviously super important. And then this movement component, we just taught you P squats. Okay. So that's how you can fit in some of the movement. If you're just doing that, it's better than nothing. Mm. Let's keep digging in here. What other, what other fab five habits are we missing that have to do with these basic needs? Yeah. So as my clients are going through self transform you right now, you know, we're doing workouts and we're talking about my food freedom method, but we're digging deeper into habits, but we're doing it slowly and implementing some small things over time. Because like we said, we want to make it simple and not overwhelming because if you try to do too many at one time, guess what's going to happen? 
you're not going to do any of them. Uh You're not going to do any of them. Promise. I know from my own experience, but these fab five things that my clients are doing right now, these are simple things they're starting with that they can do throughout their day that are super easy. So number one is AM and PM gratitude. So whether it would be prayer, using a gratitude journal, telling someone you're grateful, that's super easy. Number two is getting 10,000 steps within a day. If you're like me, you get stuck behind your laptop all day sometimes and you go and look at your steps and you're like going to bed and you're like, I've had like 4,000 steps today. What did I do? What did I do all day? I was behind my laptop all day. Number three is drinking enough water. A lot of times we're dehydrated and we don't realize maybe we're cranky or hangry and really we're just really thirsty. Okay. And some type of daily movement every day. It doesn't have to be a workout. But some type of joyful movement, whether it's a dance party in the kitchen with your kids, whether it be taking your dog for a walk, whether it would be um, just going outside and just enjoying the sunshine, doing some type of daily walk, something every day, walking, water. And my clients are realizing like, oh, these are some things that maybe I already do, but maybe I'm just not doing enough of or consistently okay. consistently that's, and over that's time you're able to build it up yeah and yeah. they're they're writing it down they're making sure they're doing it and last but not least is quality sleep okay so for for a moment let's talk about this am pm gratitude one mm-hmm. how can we make because here's so i look at this list i'm like oh great so like movement for example Mm-hmm. that's a fun one. Great. Fit it in when possible, but like, it's not unconscious yet for me. I'm still going, Oh, I have to fit that in. Then you check the box and like, it's not seamless. It's not a habit. Like the vitamins are for me where it's mm-hmm. like, Oh, I, I just do that thing. So let's talk about some examples with like, let's just take the daily movement for a moment. How mm-hmm. do we make it a habit that can become unconscious partnered with something we're already doing every day that then moves into becoming a routine. Yeah. So this is a good example. This is real life, something that happened to me yesterday. So, um, I'm a coach at orange theory and I like, I personally like to work out on my own at home. I I just got a Peloton. I'm just get a Peloton. You guys, I'm telling you. Oh my God. We're not sponsored. Just not sponsored. (laughs) sponsored. Hashtag sponsor us. No, (laughs) But I'm obsessed, but I've been doing this no, no fail for six years stuff. I always lay my workout clothes the night before Ooh. always. And that is my trigger to do my workout. So I have a middle schooler. My oldest son, Dylan is 13 and he gets up super early. He gets, he catches the bus at six 40. Why we're wow. having middle schoolers get up that early. Like, I don't know. Oh my gosh. But, but I get up uh, right when I hear his alarm going off. I have my alarm set for five minutes later. I get up, I go to the bathroom, hashtag P squats. Uh huh. Um, an extra layer to that. I have my gratitude journal on the back of my toilet. So I grab that. I grab that and do my gratitude. You guys, coffee makes you poop. So then you can go grab the gratitude journal. Hashtag grateful. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So we can go hashtag poop gratitude. No, (laughs) too soon. I'm sorry. Too soon. (laughs) (laughs) But what I also do, like I said, I, I have my workout clothes laid out. And yesterday, for some reason, the night before, I didn't lay my workout clothes out. And so I got up and I just kind of wandered downstairs and I started chit-chatting with Dylan before he got on the bus. And I started doing the next step of my routine was making my coffee, taking my vitamins, my water, letting the dogs out. And I was just do, 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 do. Then I started, I opened up my phone and I started scrolling. And then I was like, I didn't even put my workout clothes on. Oh, they weren't out. Oh, I've just wasted 15 minutes. Now I don't have time to get in my ride before my next kiddo gets up. Hot dang girl. So I told my husband last night, I was like, babe, I forgot to lay my workout clothes out last night. And I never got my workout. And for me, I prefer working out first thing in the morning. Number one, that just works better with my schedule. And number two, that's just when I personally like to work out. Uh, But then it didn't happen yesterday. Okay. So that's really a great tip. I love that so much. And so what I've also noticed, this might help all of you listening is finding where the habit fits the best because mm-hmm. I tried with the mornings and that was in there and it was okay, but like, it was always super crunched for me. Cause I wanted that to be my morning routine with the fit, mm-hmm. with my faith and my devotionals and my prayer time. Mm-hmm. And so I decided 
it wasn't working and it didn't fit there, but I didn't want to lose the habit. So I've moved it to right after my last session of the day, which is typically three 30 mm-hmm. right after I get my other son miles and I'm done with work. That's like my, my perfect time to do it. Cause the boys come in, they do their workout at the same time on their little iPad workout. But I think what would really help is that the workout clothes, that would be such a great thing to mm-hmm. add in. And then what's the other piece of this puzzle, Emily, about making it stick. Okay. How long, how do we stick? get through that first awful 30 days of implementing some of these habits where we don't love them so much or whatever, how do we get them to stick? Yeah. I mean, you hear so many things like, Oh, it could take 21. Oh, it could take 30 days to make a habit stick. I think a lot of it is just staying consistent and giving yourself grace a really a bonus tip. Let's call this a bonus tip because I share this in my free community a lot when we're talking about habits, like you miss a day, whatever. Don't miss more than two days. Don't miss more than two days. I think there's a trigger in our minds where we're just like, oh, I missed it again. And then you miss that day again. Then you just throw your hands up in the air and you just give up. And that's when it's not sticking. But also take some time to evaluate. You know, give yourself at least a month. Give yourself at least a month. And if you're like, you know, like you said, it's not working for me to work out in the morning. When can I schedule it in my day that works? And do you actually put it in your planner or your calendar for workout time? Yeah. Write it down. Put it in your Google calendar. Tattoo it on your forehead. Put it everywhere here that it's going to make be part of your day. Not just loosey-goosey like, oh, and later today I'm going to work out. Schedule it in. Block in your time. Make sure you're not having appointments during that time. Communicate with your partner or your spouse as well to be like, Hey babe, I'm going to have workout time during this time. Could you help watch the kids or just, you know, if the dogs are barking at the UPS man, just will you go handle that (laughs) and whatnot, you know, and communicating that and making it a priority instead of so loosey goosey. Now, if it truly is inconvenient, switch it up, change it at another time. Or if you're like, I don't like this habit. I don't like, you know, doing P squats. I don't like, you know, working out at three 30 in the afternoon. Okay. You gave yourself a month try it at a different time, try a different workout. We're so quick to give up on ourselves. And when it comes to our wellness, you have to have a lot of patience and grace with yourself because we come from a mentality where we want to see results, Mm. where a lot of times we need to think about the way, this is just a way of loving yourself by taking care of yourself and your basic needs. Not a, not a means to an end It's not a means to an end. It's just your health. It's just your lifestyle and being able to pour into yourself. You're going to be able to pour into others. And I notice a massive difference in my own energy level, my mood, my productivity, the way that I show up when I'm hitting these habits that are in this, um, in this, uh, basic needs bucket. So the three things that Emily said, ladies, just to reiterate, this is how do you stick with these new habits, Mm -hmm. consistency, communication. So telling someone else that accountability factor. And then the third one was giving it a month before you give up on it. And I think those are super great. I love that. So um, all of this has been super, super helpful. And I also want to say, for those of you listening, like you can start with these basic need habits, which is where I would start. And Emily said, that's what she teaches is starting with the basics, implementing them slowly. How many, like, when should they integrate a new habit and then a new habit? And then are you doing one a week, Emily? Is it kind of dependent on the person? I think it really depends on the person. Like I said, for my clients in Self Transform You, they're starting with the Fab Five. They've added in the workouts. So we're talking, they've added in food freedom this week. Now we're talking a little bit more, digging in deeper to habits. And, you know, every three to four weeks, at least a month, I would implement a new habit. Just don't overwhelm yourself. Because listen, ladies, I know you're busy. I know you don't have a lot of time. Like how many of us, when someone asks us how we're doing, what do we say? Oh, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. But wouldn't it feel great to be like, I feel really great. I have a lot of energy. My business is going great. My kids are getting along and, you know, my husband's happy. Wouldn't that feel so much better versus just feeling drained all the time? I think so. So slow, steady, and simple when you implement. And also what I've noticed is now that I have most of the basic needs habits down and they've become part of my routine, I've expanded 
and started implementing new habits in motherhood. Like I just did my episode, you guys heard on the um, five intentions. Those are actually habits. We read a scripture in the pickup drop-off line for school. We talk about at dinner time. we do the highs and lows. Like these are actual habits that I'm even implementing inside of motherhood. It's a habit. 15 minute timer goes on at least once a day to go look at the laundry situation. I mean, 15 minutes a day, simple, easy things that you're implementing, not all at once habits for me has been a nine year evolution. Okay. Yes. Literally. So it's not like, great. I'm just going to do all the 37 habits that Emily and Steph mentioned today. Pick two, you know, start with P squats and vitamins and water or something. You can start with the poop journaling as well. If that works for you, I'm super excited about that one. <laughs> I'm going to totally just do that. I love that one. I mean, coffee makes you poop. You guys poop journaling, um, come hashtag on Instagram and tell Emily and I, uh, tag her and I with which of these you're going to do the hashtag poop journaling or the hashtag P squats. Let's hear from you guys and then implement every two to three weeks, a new one. Yeah. And just slow and steady. Emily, anything else you want to leave everyone with when it comes to habit stacking, habit creation, any of those final, like just thoughts? Yeah. I mean, just, it all comes down to simplicity and doing what works best for you. Cause what we're talking about, what works for Steph may not work for me and vice versa. So do what works for you. Be willing to pivot but have some type of basic need um, skeleton or template to your day where, you know, so last year, my kids were home all the time. Everyone's kids were all the time. And my whole routine was flipped upside down and I had to readjust, but I had this solid foundation of essentially like self-care acts for myself where I was like, okay, I just need to pivot and readjust this. And it was okay. And it was okay. So being willing, because you're going to have different seasons of your life where it's going to be harder to take care of your basic needs and being able to have just these basic ones really locked and loaded, you're able to pivot them around. No problem. That's really good. That flexible flexibility and simplicity. And you're, you're right. Like my workouts in the school year are going to be probably at a different time than in the summer. Yep. based around and just so being able to be flexible with those and implement new and also they're easy to readjust like you, you're so afraid of oh if I break the habit of doing the workout at 3 p.m or doing the workout at 5 6 30 a.m it's going to be ruined forever it's not because it's already part of your basic needs structure you're noticing that physical difference you know the way that I eat um if I go off or go, get out of my bubbles on the weekends I feel it if it mm. get, it's like, I can tell the habit, have a direct correlation to how I feel now that mm. they're part of the routine that I crave them. I crave the habits. Oh and God, so I God. want to fit it in. I want it to be in there. So that's, that's a great tip. Amazing. This is so good. I'm super excited for everybody to listen to this, to come check out your podcast. Emily, tell us where they can find you and what your show's called and your website. Yeah. All the things. So yeah. again, Thank you for having me on the show. Truly an honor to talk about poop journaling. <laughs> <laughs> this is real life. This is real life. So keeping it real. But you can listen to me on any of your favorite podcast streaming service at Self Transform. Then you can find me on Instagram at Emily Nichols22. Like Steph said, tag us. Let us know your biggest takeaways from today's episode and what new habits you're going to start stacking in your life. And you can check out all the things at emily-nichols.com if you want to learn a little bit more about self-transform you and there's some fun freebies over there for you as well you rock girlfriend thank you thank you hey girl real quick before you go if you love today's show and know your girlfriend's need to hear this message too then grab a screenshot post it to your instagram stories and tag me at emily nichols too because the more mamas out there hearing this message the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.